Create a professional website with Notion 2023 step-by-step -step Notion website builder tutorial. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be discussing how you can create a website using Notion. Now do know this that we're not only going to be using Notion, we're also going to be using Super. Why? Because Notion makes us a great website. It's, it's pretty organized, pretty spaced out, but it has a very basic UI. So that's where Super comes in because Super gives us a great UI. So we're going to be discussing all of it and it's going to be very fun and it's going to be very informational. So please do make sure to watch this video till the end to really gain all the knowledge you can about Notion and how to make a professional website out of it. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, first of all, let's go ahead and uh, discuss the whole Notion bit. So you're going to go into Notion.so. And once you're here, you can see your wiki, docs, and projects together, etc. To get started, we're just going to click on Get Notion for free. And once you do that, I'm going to continue with my Google account for now. You can continue with any account if you want to, totally dependent on you. I'm just going to go with a Google one. And once I am signed in, what's going to happen is that we are going to be choosing or picking our template. Now here it says, how are you planning to use Notion? I'm going to go with personal use. I'm going to skip all this information for now. It doesn't really matter. Pretty irrelevant stuff. Now, once I skip that uh, here, you can see it's taking us to our workspace. So getting started, welcome to Notion. You are the basics, click anywhere and just start typing, stuff like that. Okay. Now what we're going to do is obviously we're going to go ahead and choose a template. So for that, we're going to come here in templates and here we are now. Obviously, go ahead and pick a template for yourself if you want to. Now, uh, these are obviously all your main templates, but let's say uh, you want to go with this one as well, like project brief, draft, launch product and stuff like that. Or you can like also get other templates. So basically, in easier words, just pick your template. OK, and once you have picked your template, OK, like let's say I'm going to go with just get template. OK, I'm going to click on that. Now here you can see I've gotten this template. It's obviously for my product management or project management. But for easier picks, you can just come up to Notion's template marketplace where you can get the whole template gallery where you can find the whole, you know, templates of the month and stuff like that. And obviously you might have to pay for them. You might just use them for free, but uh, just choose any template you want. OK, pretty easy and basic stuff. You can use the templates off of uh, Notion's own marketplace, or you can go to a website called super.so slash market. Okay. Now, once you go here, you're going to see what comes up. You're going to see all the different templates for super. Now you're probably wondering what super is. Super is the marketplace that we're going to be using to integrate with our Notion to create a good professional looking website. So you're going to come here and you can see all these, like they have a lot of free. So I'm going to go with this free template. Okay. I'm going to go with this. And uh, once I go with this, I am going to, okay. I like this one. So I'm going to click on get narrative. And once you click on get narrative here, you can see getting started installing, duplicate this template to notion. The first step in getting started is to duplicate the template content to your notion workspace. Click the button below and then click duplicate at the top, right? So we're just going to, follow all the steps that super is telling us to do. And trust me, like it's pretty easy. It's pretty basic work. So just follow it as much as you can. Now, once you're over here, obviously here, it's going to say duplicate. So just go ahead and duplicate it to your notion. Now, once you have duplicated this to your notion, what's going to happen is that you're going to have to link your template. You're probably wondering how is one supposed to link their template? It's pretty basic, pretty easy stuff. Now that we have duplicated it over here, you're just going to link it and uh, to link it. Obviously, you have your whole narrative. And uh, once you've done that, we're going to come back to over here. So here it says create an upgraded site on super. So obviously the upgraded side, you're going to have to, uh, let's say, upgrade the whole plan for yourself. But once you have upgraded the site, what you're going to do is you're going to apply the custom template. Now applying the custom template involves coding. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to open new site settings, navigate to the code page and inside the head tab, paste the following snippet. Now this is basically in the HTML CSS code, which basically links both websites. 
Now, once both websites are linked, I'm going to make blog posts a subpage of posts. Okay. I'm going to paste that in your, into your subpage. And once you've done that, you're going to add a nav bar and a footer. Next, head into your site settings and enable a nav bar and a footer, add whatever links you want and customize it to your needs. Enable page properties and database views. Finally, open your new site settings, navigate to the options page and enable page properties and database views. This is to show certain properties such as written by on the blog and allows users to filter your post. And you can keep on updating your content. Like um, you can uh, update your pages, you can set your site live, create new pages, you can like mess around with advanced options, update your designs, your navigation, and obviously just add more code injections if you want to, use the right gallery card size, set up your filters correctly, replace the sign up form with your own, and yeah, like most of these basic stuff. So as we discussed, make an upgraded site on Super, make an upgraded site on Narrative, choose a template, duplicate it, link it with your um, Notion. And once you've linked it, all you're going to do is obviously you're just going to mess around with it. Go into the coding section. You have your blogs page, your post page and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it's pretty basic and easy stuff. If you ask me, like uh, pretty nice stuff. Uh, you can see all the information has been totally copied from Super. And as we can see in front of our eyes, like this website looks pretty much better than what Notion usually makes for you. Like usually Notion makes something like, let me show you what Notion usually makes for a person. Like let me go in templates and yeah, like this is something Notion usually makes for you. And it's pretty like, pretty like basic, pretty not good. Like not a lot of people would be attracted to this if you know what I mean. So it makes a pretty basic site. But for you to create a site easily on Notion and also not make it basic, just use Super because Super is like a great integration, works amazingly, and it's like a bit of a booster. Just need You just need to like upgrade the plan, and once the plan is upgraded, you're good to go. Pretty basic stuff from there on out. So I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me. I am always available, and I will give you the easiest step-to-step -step guides for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Before signing off, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video. And please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. So until next time, I'll see you later and goodbye.